Coming to you live from the UTRGV Fieldhouse in the three-time All-American city of Edinburgh, the WAC Digital Network presents UTRGV Women's Basketball tonight. UTRGV tonight. Today, this morning, depending on where you're listening from, UTRGV is taking on Prairie View A&M University in what's a rescheduled game, and not for the reasons you might have been expecting in 2020. This game was supposed to be played yesterday in the South Padre Island Convention Center. Unfortunately, adverse court conditions forced that game to be postponed and moved to the UTRGV Fieldhouse today, and the UTRGV South Padre Island Classic shortened from two days to one with games taking part at the Fieldhouse. They got through one quarter of one game yesterday. North Texas was leading UT Arlington 18-13, to and they'll finish that game after this one at about 3 o'clock on the WAC digital network so UTRGV enters this game after what's become quite a layoff wasn't well, supposed to be that way but games at a game at Kansas was cancelled Kansas had COVID issues that was supposed to be this past Monday so it's been 11 days since UTRGV last played but the last time they did play they turned a 12 point deficit into a 5 point win to beat Texas A&M Corpus Christi and a huge performance for UTRGV because here's what that means overall. That means UTRGV swept their rival Islanders in the South Texas Showdown presented by Navy Army Community Credit Union and showed their ability to come back despite being down and despite what had been kind of a rough shooting performance from them early on. They dug deep, showed some resiliency, picked up three big points in that showdown and gave themselves some confidence that, yes, they can come back because they have the tools and the firepower to make up that gap. Mara Graham, 25 points in that game. Seven rebounds. It's Graham's second 20-plus point game of the season. And, you know, she's been UTRGV's leading scorer. Has come back and is making such a, a big impact on this squad that has, uh, you know, so many newcomers on the team. But uh, she has really been everything for the Vicaros. Yeah, playing a, a nice job there, kind of sliding into a shooting guard position. Jenna Williams taking over a lot of those point guard responsibilities, which has freed Amara Graham up to really move around on the floor, get herself into good positions to get good looks at the basket, and it has reaped nothing but benefit. Yeah, you're right. Janae Williams had seven assists in that game at Corpus Christi. Never came off the court. She also managed to score 14 points. And when you think about some of the things that, that happened to allow that to even happen, I mean, Valeria Tapia was supposed to be the starting point guard. She got hurt. I'm hoping to have her back for conference play. So in steps Williams, the newcomer, and that's worked out pretty well for UTRGV thus far. The Caros off to a good start this season. They're three and two. Now, on the other side of it all, Prairie View A&M, they've only been able to play one game so far. They beat McNeese State 95-73. That was this past Wednesday up in Prairie View. And... I mean, that game came down to the second quarter. Prairie View A&M outscored McNeese State. Are you sitting down? 25 to six. Look out. That's incredible to say the very least. Well, UTRGV, Prairie View A&M are lining up. They're currently playing a video of UTRGV players reading the Vaqueros United Pledge. For more information on that, visit goutrgv.com slash Vaqueros United. And then immediately after this pledge, they will play the national anthem. So let's step aside for a commercial break. When we come back, we'll have your starting lineups. We'll have your opening tip. This is UTRGV Women's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. We all want the best for our families, to love, to laugh, to live a healthy life. At UT Health RGV, we believe every family should have access to the most advanced medical care right here close to home. With over 100 board-certified doctors at 20 locations valley-wide, with life-saving procedures and treatments that keep you and your family healthy, UT Health RGV is here for you. High-quality care for every patient, for every family. Find your way to the best care at uthealthrgv.org.
Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, now open in Edinburgh, across the street from the university. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, a proud sponsor of UTRGV Athletics, showing everyone one love. Whether it's a pregame meal or a postgame celebration, Raising Cane's has got you covered, open late and ready to serve. Raising Cane's, now open in Edinburgh, across from the university, serving nothing but one love. Welcome back out to the UTRGV Fieldhouse. Alongside Brian Smith, I'm Jonah Goldberg. UTRGV Prairie View A&M getting ready for tip-off. They're on what's become the final day of the UTRGV South Padre Island Classic contested at the UTRGV Fieldhouse in Edinburgh. So here's the starting lineup for visiting Prairie View A&M. Starting in the backcourt are Tamirical Taylor and Tabria Gandhi. At the three spot, it's Anna Rosenthal. At the four, Kennedy Hurd, and in the middle of it all, Jasmine Dixon. As for UTRGV, Amara Graham runs the offense. Or actually, check that. Janae Williams runs the offense. Amara Graham is at the shooting guard position. Tiffany McGarity at the three. Haley Jones at the four. And then in the middle of it all, it's Eva Velosevic, head coach of UTRGV in his third season is Lane Lord. He has had quite a successful career. And on the other side, for Prairie View A&M in her third season, speaking of people who've had successful careers, it's Sandy Pugh. Brian, you can't start a car without keys. So let's start the car that is this broadcast and let's get some keys to the game. Oh, looking at keys and what a great way to start this game with this set of keys. Look at what's going on for UTRGV. We talked about their three and two on the year. A big part of that, they have to do a little bit of job of limiting turnovers. You charge me inter play tonight, having committed at least 20 turnovers in three of those four games. To their credit, their defense has been spectacular. It's kept them in games, put them in a position to win, and by and large, they've done just that. But if they can limit some turnovers here against a very aggressive Prairie View A&M defense, who could go a long way to helping this team be successful. Also for UTRGV, they have got to find a way to get to the line. In their last outing against Texas A&M Corpus Christi, the Vaquero shot 88% from the free throw line. You heard that right, 88% while making a near season high 10 free throws in the second half. UTRGV has an aggressive style of offense. They're going to get up and down the floor. They're going to attack the rim. They're going to get to the line. It's can they consistently get to the line and then continue to make free throws at that high rate. And look at the Panthers over there for Prairie View a and I mean, what else can we say? Had a long way to start this season. Canceled games, canceled games. Finally got one under their belt. And what did we see? Well, they can really spread the wealth. They have to continue to do so. When we look at what happened in that game against McNeese State, five different players for this Prairie View a and team reached double sip figures in what was a lopsided victory. If they can continue to spread the scoring like that, it's going to make it really hard for UTRGV to lock down defensively and stop people from scoring. And as we know, college basketball, if you can score, you can win. And Prairie a and can do just that. I got to admit, it's nice to be back out here at the UTRGV Fieldhouse. As you so eloquently pointed out, this tournament was supposed to have been out on South Padre Island yesterday. Conditions did not allow for it, so we're back here in the friendly confines of UTRJ Fieldhouse in Sam Williams Court. Beautiful place for college basketball. Another place I'd rather be on a Saturday. Out here taking in what should be a very competitive performance here between UTRJV and Prairie View A&M. Two very different styles of play. Prairie View is going to press, press, press. You charge of these really going to want to get set up in their offense. A couple of last minute critiques coming in from that U charge V coaching staff to their starters. And we're about to get started here. So 
the tip is up between Belosevich and Dixon. It's won by Dixon. And here we go left to right across your computer screen, television screen, tablet, phone. Watch however you may be pulling this one in today with Prairie View A&M in the purple. They turn it over, lose it out of bounds. UTRTV ball. They're wearing the white uniforms. Great opening defensive stop there for UTRGV and Haley Jones. Getting in there and mixing it up, picks up at least one block, perhaps even two. Graham, it's the jumper from the right elbow and the Vaqueros strike first. Gandy running the offense for the Panthers. Gandy slips left, back right, back left. Graham trying to poke it away. Hurd. Taylor. To a left for Rosenthal. Five on the shot clock. Rosenthal turnaround jumper is an air ball. Out of bounds. UTR to be basketball. A good look at that UTR GV defense to open this one. They have been locked down. Both shot attempts by Prairie a and have not been really good looks contested. UTR GV doing a really good job of staying front face. And Taylor gets a little aggressive there, trying to limit Janae Williams' activity, bringing it up. Probably the first foul of this one to Miracle Taylor. And just like that, Taylor steps out. In will come Tiffany Tullis. Graham for Williams. Stop, spin, there's Jones. Comes underneath, throws it up with the right hand, bounces off the iron. Rebound Rosenthal, back we go the other way. Rosenthal for three, off the mark. Offensive rebound, second chance underneath. Won't go. Out of bounds, it stays with the Panthers. Looks like the Prairie View A&M coaching staff not real happy with their effort on that offensive rebound. Out of bounds along the sideline, UTR to be ball. Williams for Graham. Give it to Jones. Graham. Lob for Belosevich. Here come the Panthers. There's the scoop. It's good for Gandy. Ties the game at two. That's a good look at that pressed pace for the Panthers. Gandy gets up and down. Graham with a back to the basket. Can't get it to fall. Tullis misfires. Williams the rebound. Jones for three. Off the back iron. Ball comes to the corner. Belosevich from McGarrity. There's Graham. Williams comes in. Jump ball. Possession arrow favors UTRGV. That's a great job defensively by the Panthers. Staying active on Janae Williams. There was a little bit of a soft spot there right in the paint. She tried to attack it. Two players collapse over. Able to wrap her up as she tries to draw some contact and get the layup. And a quick substitution in for UTRGV Belosevich came out, Jessica Martino comes in. And on the inbound, foul called against Kennedy Paul for the Panthers, her first team second. Basket is good for Jessica Martino. UTRGV up four to two. Rebound Graham. Out 
Underneath, Martino gets knocked down. Free throws coming up. And give all the credit there to Mara Graham. She stole that rebound and then came racing down the floor. The Panther defense just didn't get back quick enough. She tried to dip that one off to Jessica Martino for the easy layup and all Preview A&M could do there was just foul and foul hard to prevent Martino from getting just a wide open look at the basket. So out goes Rosenthal for the Panthers. In comes Elena Thompson. And then for UTRGV, out went McGarity and Jones. And back in came Belosevic and Jordan Lewis. Martino hits the first free throw. Second shot is good as well. So UTRGV leads six to two. Taylor. Paul. Foul. It's on Martino. Picked off by Lewis, and here comes UTRGV. Graham. Martino, Graham underneath. They call traveling on Graham. It's a wave off the basket. Coach Lord can't believe it. I mean, Graham got absolutely pummeled as she tried to go up. And they'll say she shuffled her feet, I guess, before she tried to attack the rim. Three ball is good for Thompson. Panthers within a point. What a swing that is. It could have very easily been nine to two. Six point swing there, it's now six five. Martino gets blocked. Panthers ball. That was a really good block. Because not only do you stop the shot, you keep possession. Substitution for Prairie View a and Out went Rachel Williams. She's replaced by Kennedy Hurd. Jumper is good for Kennedy Paul and the Panthers take their first lead at seven to six. Well, we said that this Prairie View a and team could score and they could score in bunches and you're seeing it there. Slight little spark and they went from down to up They've got all the momentum over the last minute and a half. Five straight points for the Panthers as Milosevic fires from deep. Can't get it in, a rebound by Hurd. Get it to the wing for Thompson, and that's well off the mark. Graham the rebound, she's pushing the tempo. Into the lane, Graham with the right hand, lays it in. Amar Graham puts the Vaqueros back on top. It's eight to seven. Quickly the other way, a miss by Tullis. Here comes UTRGV, slow it down. With a one point lead and four and a half minutes to play in the opening quarter. A spin, a jumper, it's good for Jessica Martino. Back to back baskets for UTRGV, it's 10 to seven. Oh, a skyscraper getting up there and using the glass to her advantage. Both of her made baskets have come off kisses from the glass. Paul misses the jumper, a rebound by Lewis. Graham. We got a foul. We got a timeout, four minutes to play, opening quarter, 10 to seven Vaqueros. This is UTRGV Women's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network.
University Draft House. Civilized burgers for uncivilized appetites. Want to show your support for U-Charge V in style? Then log on to uchargevgears.com today to choose from a large variety of clothing for adults and children, including infants and toddlers. You can even get something for your pet. How about some drinkware, a watch, or a duffel bag? It's all there and so much more. Now through New Year's Eve, get 20% off select hoodies. You're already on the internet, so open up a new browser window and log on to uchargevgear.com to get your UTRGV gear right now. Jumper is good for Jordan Lewis. Three straight baskets for the Vaqueros. It's 12 to seven. So for Prairie a and Dixon came in and replaced Paul. And just as quickly, Taylor and Tullis come out and coming back in are Rosenthal and Hurd. Panthers ball, they trail by five. Now they trail by three. Basket for Tabria Gandy. Graham takes it down. And she's had quite the first start for her, Gandy, attacking the rim, pushing the pace for Prairie View. She's got four of their nine points, really setting the tone. Offensive rebounds to Artivon. Second chance for UTRGV. Graham, McGarity, underneath, and a foul on Martino. He was airborne, about to go with the layup when the contact happened. We charge that one to Rosenthal. Be her first, fifth against the Panthers. And another quick substitution for you, Charge via Amara Graham. We'll get a breather. Janae Williams will replace her on the floor. Free throws don't go, so three point game. Panthers ball, they can tie it with a triple. Gandy, go for Rosenthal. There's a three, it doesn't fall, and the rebound tipped into the hands of awaiting Williams. Stu Artivant for three, off the front iron. Gandy. Martino was trying to get by or was making a little body contact with her arm straight up saying, I'm, I'm not trying to contact. Just trying to get to my spot on the floor. Gandy can't get it in. Rebound and a putback is good for Hurd. It's a one point game. That's a great effort by Hurd there, getting the rebound and then getting position to go right back up and get those points. Lewis tried to cool a little bit of space and get a good look at the rim, just could not get that one to roll. Quickly ahead, Dixon lays it in. And the Panthers have scored six straight points and again have the lead. UTRG if he can reclaim the lead with the basket here, Williams. Still Artivant. Back out to Williams. A deep three is a little short. Still Artivant, the rebound underneath, gives it to McGarity. It's poked out of Martino's hands. Vaqueros retain. Yeah. 
And a three second violation. It's Prairie View A&M ball with 112 left in the quarter. Mass substitutions for UTRGV on that one. Might be easier to tell you who is still on the floor for UTRGV. It's going to be Jones, McGarity, Graham, Williams, and Belosevich now. Williams handed off for Taylor. Rosenthal. The herd. The jumper rolls off the iron. Rebound McGarity. Williams firing it underneath, and it's stolen. And here come the Panthers, Rosenthal. So that foul will go against Graham on the floor, no basket. First foul on Graham, only third foul called against UTRGV here in the opening quarter. Taylor to the Rosenthal. Three ball for Hurd is short. Rebound loose. Rolling ball. Who's it off of? It's off the, the it's off the Panthers. GTR to be ball. Nineteen seconds left. Graham for Williams. The Graham. Seven seconds. Six. Five. Four. There's Belosevich puts it in. The Vaqueros take a 14-13 lead into quarter number two. This is UTRGV women's basketball on the whack. Digital Network. Claim your steak at the Santa Fe Steakhouse and Cantina in McAllen. You want to get rewarded for visiting UTRGV partners such as Blue Wave Express Car Wash, Chick-fil-A Boca Chica, Golden Chick, IHOP, Raising Canes, or Taco Palenque? Are you of a Caro's know-it-all that wants to rack up points on Trivia Tuesday? Then download the Go UTRGV app today. Not only can you earn prizes, but you also get access to live scores, stats, schedules, rosters, and so much more. Just visit the App Store or Google Play and get the free Go UTRGV app today. Welcome back out to the UTRGV Fieldhouse. Alongside Brian Smith, I'm Jonah Goldberg. Start of the second quarter, the Caros lead the Panthers 14-13, but not anymore as Rosenthal lays it in to make it 15-14 Panthers. Jumper from McGarity is good. That's a great sign offensively for UTRGV, remember. McGarity's got a 20-point game to her credit already this season. Did so against Texas A&M Corpus Christi in the first of those two South Texas showdown presented by Navy Army Community Credit Union matchups. Layup for Rachel Williams. Back and forth we go. Prairie View A&M up Turnover, steal by Taylor. Send it underneath, there's the turnaround jumper. Williams, no, rebound Jones. Back we go the other way. Graham. There's the Williams at the top.
Graham, left wing three. Can't get it in. Rebound Panthers. A three point basket has not been friendly to U Charge of either. 0 for 6 thus far. Graham along the baseline. Jones, right wing for three. Can't get it in. And here come the Panthers. Did a nice job by Prairie View of moving the ball, trying to find that soft spot. Finally, Taylor attacks from the baseline, is able to draw contact under the hoop. That foul is going to go against Haley Jones. It's going to be her first. Plenty of fouls to go around on both sides, although nobody with more than one foul on either side this yet, so the foul situation is distributed pretty pretty widely on both sides. Mass substitutions for the Panthers. Be easy to tell you who is on the floor at this point. As it's Dandy, Dixon, Thompson, it's Gandy puts one in. And Rosenthal. This is what you come to expect from this preview a and Panthers team. They press, they press, they press offensively and defensively. And they withstood that early storm for UTRGV and now a couple made baskets. They've extended themselves to a four point lead. Ball loose. Thompson gets it up for Rosenthal. Puts up the jumper, it's no good. Quick stoppage to reset the shot clock, so they'll put 24 seconds on the shot clock. And during the stoppage, we'll get a substitution for you, Charge V. Out goes Belosevic. In will come Martino. Likewise, for the Panthers, in comes Hudson, who replaces Dixon. We got a foul. That's going to go against McGarity. Her first. Skying for the rebound and trying to put it back in Rosenthal. Can't get it to fall. And, and the. Ball heads out, so another opportunity for Prairie View A&M with 20 on the shot clock. 6.41 game clock. Dandy, Paul, puts it in. Jumper doesn't fall for Lewis. Second opportunity for UTRGV. Williams is left alone for three. Bang! Zoom! The Vaqueros are within a bucket. That's a huge basket because that breaks the seal for UTRGV. First made three-pointer. They're now one for eight. They've been 0 for seven prior to Williams able to bury that one. Jumper doesn't go for Gandy. We get a foul. I'm just gonna go against Hudson over the bat. And one thing Prairie View a can really capitalize, and they've done so here in the second quarter, they have got some real size on this Panthers team. You've got Thompson go six foot, Dixon six three, Williams is six two, Paul is six one, Hudson six five. It's allowed them to really get aggressive on the boards and. Though the rebounding 
advantage is non-existent even at 16. They've done a nice job of keeping some of their possessions extended. Offensive foul. Martino was trying to create space for the basket. And we'll get a substitution here as Martinez is going to come out. Sydney Cajero coming in for you, Charge V. Good move there. Martino had just picked up her second foul with that offensive foul, so presumably she'll sit the rest of the first half. Three ball doesn't go for Paul. Graham. There's a three, and that one's good. Jordan Lewis ties the game at 22. And we had a timeout on the floor with 4.38 to play. Tied to 22. This is UTRGV Women's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. Viva la Revolución at the Republic of the Rio Grande. Welcome back out to the UCharge G Fieldhouse alongside Jonah Goldberg. I'm Brian Smith. 438 left to play in quarter number two. UCharge V and Peruvia AM. Not an inch between them. Nodded at 22-22. Big performance thus far. Gandhi has seven points, two rebounds, and two assists for the Panthers. Looking at UTRGV. Jessica Martino, big start. Six points on two of three shooting. It's also picked up a rebound. Back to action we go for play-by-play. -play. Here's Jonah Goldberg. Hi, thank you, Brian. Ball underneath, good in the foul. The Panthers are right back on top. Well, give Tullis some credit, being really aggressive there. The Panthers got two offensive rebounds to keep that possession extended right under the rim, and Tullis got the last one and then immediately attacked the rim. Got the points, and now a chance for a three-point play. We'll give a lane violation to Gandy of the Panthers. Didn't really matter because the free throw wasn't made. So 24-22 with 4.11 to go. McGarrity brings it down. Graham. Ball goes out. UTRGV ball. Five on the shot clock, four. The three ball is up and it's no good for Lewis. Here come the Panthers the other way and a miss by Hurd. We'll turn it around. Graham, Bercajero underneath, waits out her defender, gets fouled by the second defender, and she's got free throws coming. And what a great fast break there for UTRGV. Williams gets it across to Graham. Graham sends it right back across to Cajero. Really good job of moving without the ball for UTRGV offensively on that fast break. Staying spread out and getting ahead of a really good look at the rim. First shot is good. Second shot is good, it ties the game at 24. Yeah. 
Rosenthal's jumper is too strong. Batted away by Cajero on the rebound try. And here come the Vaqueros. They can take the lead with the basket here. Lewis. For Williams. Graham. This one's coming the other way. We call a blocking foul on Cajero. It's Cajero was trying to set a pick and got bowled over, but presumably she didn't have her feet necessarily set when that contact came. Layup good for Dixon. 26-24 Panthers. Lewis for three. Bounces back. Rebound and here come the Panthers with Rosenthal. Gandy. Out of bounds. Stays with Prairie View A&M. Stuart Avant and Belosevich are back in. Gajero and Lewis take his seat. Three ball up, no good for Gandy. Here come the Vaqueros. Williams for Graham. Back to Williams. Now Graham. Belosevich. Graham. Stuart Avant for three. Rolls off the rim. Rebound of McGarity. And we get a foul. Let's go against Tullis. Will it be her second? So she's got two, as does Williams for Prairie View A&M. Graham, a deep three, can't get it in. McGarity the rebound, give it to Williams. 16 on the shot clock. Fire it to the corner, Stuart Avant. Give it off for Belosevic. Launches a three of her own, can't get it in. Rosenthal bringing it up for the Panthers. Turns it over, UTRGV ball with 66 seconds left until halftime. So Hurd will replace Tullis very quickly for Prairie a &M. Quick look at your turnover situation as that was one of our keys coming in. Only four turnovers thus far for Prairie a and UTRGV has committed eight. It's allowed some of this momentum to continue to shift back and forth. Janae Williams. A little short on the triple. And Belosevich with the foul on the rebound. It'll be Belosevich's first. ETRGV's over the limit, so two free throws coming. For Rosenthal. These are the first free throws of the day for Prairie View A&M. Haven't been many a period. Rosenthal misses the first as Jessica Martino's two for four for UTRGV and before that missed shot, that was it for the day. Rosenthal went one for two from the line against McNeese State as part of a 17.10 rebound performance. Off the back iron, rebound Graham. Williams. Twelve seconds. Eleven. Traveling's the call. Traveling is the call. Now taking in for UTR number twenty-four, Haley Jones. 
Haley Jones is in. Ariana Stuartevon takes a seat. Final 30 seconds of the quarter. Heard. Taylor. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Underneath her, Rosenthal lays it in. Beautiful cut there by Rosenthal. And a quick turnover and a foul. Jones was trying to block Dixon. Now Dixon's going to have an opportunity to earn two more points at the line. Jones has two fouls now. She'll take a seat. Jordan Lewis is back in. Miss there. UTRGV ball. The clock started, which it shouldn't have. What was it at? It was like, so it wasn't touched. I think the referee just said 7.2. Yeah, they yeah, put 7.2 back up. Williams, four, three, two. One, Lewis, they ran out of time. So at the end of one half of play, Prairie View A&M leads UTRGV 28-24. Coming up on the halftime report, we'll have your first half numbers. We'll take a look at an ep part of an episode of UTRGV's new YouTube show, Road to Victory. And we'll take a look around the WAC. This is UTRGV Women's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. Welcome back out to the UTRGV Fieldhouse alongside Jonah Goldberg and Brian Smith at the half. UTRGV trails Prairie View A&M 28 to 24. Take a look at your first half stats in this one and there have been plenty to take a look at. For Preview A&M, it's been all about Gandy. Seven points, she's done a great job of moving up and down the floor and getting this offense going for the Panthers. Three rebounds, three assists for her as well. Five rebounds for Rothensall. She's also picked up four points. Looking over at UTRGV, Martino's the big scorer. She's got six points. She's also picked up a rebound. Janae Williams, three points on one to three shooting. But think about this, five rebounds, three assists, only been out one minute, played 19 minutes there in the first half. Just really doing some tremendous work to get this U-Charge to be offense spark. Amara Graham limited just four points in the first half, but she also picked up three rebounds and two assists. The big takeaway right now though has been turnovers. Ten turnovers for UTRGV, only four turnovers for Prairie View A&M. Rebounding disparity actually goes advantage to UTRGV 24 to 23, so they're doing a really good job on the glass, despite giving up some considerable size to Prairie View A&M. Shooting figures pretty level across all sides. 13 of 39 for Prairie View A&M. They had a lot of good looks. Two of 10 from three point range, basically 30% from the floor. UTRGV nine for 27, two for 15 from three point range. So shooting percentage is pretty level. Although the Panthers have not made a free throw yet. They've taken four, missed all of them. You charge these four for six as Martino hit two of her four. Cajero hit both of hers. To give you all those stats, what ultimately matters is UTRGV trails Prairie View A&M by four, 28 to 24. We'll step aside when we come back, take another look at what's going on with UTRGV specifically, that road to victory segment, which has been an important part of the initiative UTRGV has put together that all the effort they've put to return to college basketball this season. So we'll step aside when we come back, we'll take a look at it. You're watching UTRGV Women's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. Games now open in Edinburgh, across from the university, serving nothing but one love.
Welcome back out to the UCharge V Fieldhouse. Alongside Jonah Goldberg, I'm Brian Smith. Score at the half, UCharge V Trails Prairie View A&M 28 to 24. The last nine months have been difficult for everyone. The road back to college basketball has not been easy. To document the journey, UCharge V Athletics has launched a new show, Road to Victory. Here's a part of that series premiere. I'm about to leave. So they ended up changing their flights, the whole team. It was just crazy. Craziness everywhere. We had to pack up and, and head back here, and eventually we ended up just going home. To watch the full episode of Road to Victory, check out the Go UTRGV Athletics YouTube channel. Score at the half, UTRGV Trails Prairie View A&M 28 to 24. Let's take a timeout. When we come back, we'll take a look around the WAC. You're watching UTRGV Women's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. Tights. <laughs> Welcome back out to the UTRGV Fieldhouse. Alongside Jonah Goldberg, I'm Brian Smith. At the half, UTRGV Trails Prairie View A&M 28 to 24. Let's take a look around the WAC. In action last night, the contest between Utah Valley and Southern Utah was canceled. However, there was action out in Houston as Grand Canyon defeated Houston Baptist 79 to 76. And what a resurgence we have seen from that Grand Canyon Lopes team this season. Coming with that victory, they're now 6 and 1 on the year, and all five starters reached double figures. Kennedy Shorts had 13, the game high 18 from Jackson, 15 points for Scott, 12 from Perea. 10 for Caldwell. A near double-double occurred there with Caldwell. She also picked up eight rebounds, two assists, four steals. And those Grand Canyon Lopes are just getting it done all over the floor. And the start of whack play, especially on the women's side, should be extremely interesting because you're seeing a lot of these women basketball teams from the WAC just playing some of their best basketball that we've seen in a long time heading into the end of non-conference play. So despite... The challenges of getting your team together, short practices because of the delay to start the season from COVID-19, these teams are playing really well. And look no further than what Grand Canyon's doing to be a sure sign of positive things to come for all these squads. And actually today, once this UCRGV game has concluded, two more games on tap. California Poly is at California Baptist, and Seattle U will make the trip over to Eastern Washington. We'll step aside. When we come back, we'll have a look at the start of the second half as UCRGV tries to come back from this four-point deficit. You're watching UCRGV Women's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. In McAllen. Welcome back out to the UCRGV Fieldhouse. Start of the second half is upon us. UCRGV Trails Prairie View A&M 28-24. to A big part of that. Turnovers continuing to be an issue for UCRGV here in the first half. Well, they did a nice job to close that second quarter of ball control and trying to get a good look. And now they'll try to find a way to dig that out of this four-point deficit as this team has shown the propensity for putting up points when they had to for come-behind victories. They'll try to muster another one here on their home court. Here comes the whistle. Players on the floor. So to open the second half for play-by-play, -play, here's Jonah Goldberg. Well, thank you, Brian. UTRGV now moving left to right in the white. Prairie View A&M moving right to left in the purple. Ball gets tapped out of bounds. We'll stay with the Vaqueros. 28-24 Panthers. A game that is kind of a seesaw back and forth in the first half. Belosevic. Give it a gram. Belosevic. Throws it up, doesn't go. Gallardo the rebound. Graham for Williams, back to Graham. Gallardo looking for Lewis. 10 on the shot clock. Lewis lets it fly. Swish. It's a two point game. And let me just say, Jordan Lewis has probably one of the highest arcs I have seen in a long time, but it works for her as she buries that one smooth as silk.
Gandy. Leading score for Prairie View A&M with seven. The Rosenthal. Comes out to Dixon, but first to traveling. So the Caro's ball, they can tie it or take the lead on this possession. And just that quick, quick substitution for the Panthers. Rosenthal comes in and Tiffany Tullis is on the floor now. Lewis for Williams. Did quick subs in the first quarter too. Graham. Ball underneath for Lewis. Good in the foul. Jordan Lewis ties the game, and now is the opportunity to give the Vaqueros the lead with a good free throw. And Tullis, who just comes in, quickly picks up her third foul. Off the front iron, rebound Prairie View A&M. So tie game, 28 all. In quickly comes Gandy, who draws contact. That foul's gonna go against Sydney Cajero, her third. It's an interesting look for you, Charge, if you'd open the second half. They're going with two bigs, with both Cajero and Belosevic in. After picking for her third foul, Cajero's going to take a seat. Tiffany McGarity comes back in. Gandy's first shot doesn't go. Second shot off the front iron. Rebound Hurd who can't get it to fall. And worth noting, the Panthers are now 0 for 6 from the free throw line in this game. Graham for 3. No good. Rebound McGarity. Second chance for UTRGV. McGarity give it to Williams. Graham. Comes in, throws it up, and in. Look at that teardrop, like dropping dimes in the wishing well. And you charge me back out of hit now at 30 to 28. Offensive foul. The foul goes against Jasmine Dixon, just her first. Each RGV has stolen some momentum here to open the second half on a 6-0 run. Lewis gets deflected. We have a foul there. Wilsovich was trying to contest Gandy's shot. Second foul on Belosevic. Coach Lord doesn't like it. Give some credit though to Gandy at five foot three, going in there and mixing it up with both Belosevic and McGarity, who she gives up at least six inches to on both sides. Comes away with a couple free throws. Second shot is good. Graham, three ball for Lewis, no. McGarity, Graham. Ball ahead, the layup is good. Thompson puts the Panthers back on top. It's 32-30. 
Williams for Graham. Garrity for Williams, launches the three, swish. Jenny Williams puts the Vaqueros on top, 33-32. She does have a pretty steady head from three-point range right now, two for four. And a huge basket you charge if you need to keep that momentum shifting in their direction. Three ball. Can't get it in for Thompson, out of bounds. ETRGV ball. Williams. Graham. Gardevant, Kowalsevic, there's Williams, Graham, Gardevant again, in and out. McGarrity the rebound, throws it up, no good, but a foul. Activity McGarrity has just been doing work on the boards. It seems like every time UTRGV is picking up an offensive rebound, if Tiffany McGarrity's not the one getting it, she was the one tipping it. 5'9", but playing like she's 6'2 out there tonight. Garrity hits the first free throw. Second one doesn't fall. And here come the Panthers. 34-32 Vaqueros. Taylor. There's a jumper for her, doesn't fall. Rebound McGarity. Williams. McGarity. Graham for Williams. Graham, Belosevic. Got it. 36-32. What a great job moving the ball around the perimeter for UTRGV and Belosevic just standing there at the top of the key gets what amounts to a free throw and she buries it. Layup is good for Hurd. Two point game. Stardavant, McGarity, Graham, McGarity for three. Can't get it in. Taylor bringing it down. Four minutes left in the third. Underneath, the layup is good for Paul. And we're tied at 36. And not much more Mara Graham could have done there. Paul, really skilled low post player, gets behind Graham and she's able to go straight to the rim. Rosenthal. Ball underneath to Taylor, lays it in. Steal and Hurd takes it to the hoop. The Panthers have taken a four point lead. Timeout, UTRGV down four with 311 to play in the third. This is UTRGV Women's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. The Rio Grande. Want to help prepare student athletes for excellence in life? Then it's time to become a part of something bigger and support V Nation by joining the V Club. You can become a member of the V Club for just $100 a year. All the proceeds go directly to student athlete scholarships. So visit goutrgv.com slash vclub today 
to see how you can make a meaningful impact in the lives of student athletes. Welcome back out to the UTRG Fieldhouse. Welcome to Brian Smith. I'm Jonah Goldberg. Prairie View A&M leads UTRGV 40 to 36. Williams. As Martino gets it to go, it's a two point game. Rosenthal, the bounce for Hudson. Taylor, Williams for Rosenthal. Six on the shot clock, five, four, three. Bob underneath, out of the reach of Williams and out of bounds. UTRGV ball when we return, 220 to play, 40 to 38 for ABU a &M. This is UTRGV women's basketball on the WAC Digital Network. <laughs> When the game's over, the coverage continues at our website, GoUTRGV.com. You can check out recaps, previews, highlights, feature stories, and so much more. And all you have to do is log on to GoUTRGV.com. It's my homepage. Is it yours, Brian? It is mine now. Whoa. Look out. Things are changing. For the better. It must almost be 2021. <laughs> 2020 changed everything for everyone. <laughs> Graham from McGarity back to Graham. UTRGV ball. Ball force underneath. Lewis was looking for Martino. He goes out of bounds. It's pretty great in basketball. Taylor comes underneath, out of bounds, UTR to be ball. Graham is the ball in front of our own bench. 17 on the shot clock, 60. Williams left alone for three. It's off the mark. The bounds on the rebound. UTRGV ball. Well, UTRGV is getting plenty of looks. They've taken 21 three pointers, only making three. You got to think if UTRGV can find some heat from long range, they could be blowing this one wide open. Underneath, it's Martino putting it in. We're tied at 40. Jumper good for Paul. Preview a &M back on top. The foul on Rosenthal. Just her second. Interesting, not a lot of foul trouble to be spoken of on either side. As we're almost to the fourth quarter. Tullis has three. Williams has three for the Panthers. On UTRGV, only one player has three fouls. That's Cajero. Williams, the ball in the corner, out to Graham. Williams takes a step in, give it to Graham. She's wide open for three, swish! Tamar Graham gives UTR to be the lead. Just the fourth made three-pointer by UTR to be, what a big one it was. Very, very and m responds seemingly every time UTRGV hits a go-ahead shot.
Williams, give it to Graham. Five seconds left. Graham, the jumper, wouldn't have been good, but there was a foul away from the ball. And it was offensive. It's on Lewis. So Prairie View A&M ball with 4.1 seconds left. At the buzzer, D3 from Paul doesn't fall. And at the end of three quarters to play, Prairie View a &M leads UTRGV 44-43. This is UTRGV Women's Basketball on the WAC Digital Network. Raising Canes, now open in Edinburgh, across from the university, serving nothing but one love. Welcome back out to the UTRGV Fieldhouse. Alongside Jonah Goldberg, I'm Brian Smith. Ten minutes left to play, which means we're starting the fourth quarter. UTRGV trails, Prairie View A&M, 44 to 43. Big part of that, UTRGV putting a late rally together, four to one run over the final minute and a half. Pulled themselves back into it within one. There's the whistle, back to play we go. And for play by play, here's Jonah Goldberg. Well, thank you, Brian. Prairie View A&M basketball up one with 10 to go. Gandy. Is it in for Paul? Our jumper's good. Panthers by three. Prairie View A&M's largest lead was six. UTRGV's largest lead was five. It's been that kind of game. McGarity. It's Martino underneath. Can't get it to go. Here come the Panthers. And in for Gandy. 48-43. Garrity for Graham. Williams. Is it up? Nope. Rebound Dixon. Grandy, underneath for Dixon, can't get it to go, but she does get fouled. Free throw's coming. I'm gonna go against Martino, it'll be her third. Team first here. So just like that, Martino comes out, Cajeto comes back in for you, charge of Cajeto has three fouls. No good on the first. Dixon now 0 for 3 from the line today. Prairie View A&M is 2 for 9 from the free throw line. UTRGV is 5 for 9. So if you added 3 to even it up, instead of being up by 6, Prairie View A&M would be up by 9. And that's, uh, that's from 2 to 3 possessions. Full possessions, no less. You gotta hit threes to make it three possessions. Neither team is hitting threes today. And as soon as I say that, Amara Graham says, I'll show you a thing or two about hitting threes. Brings the Vaqueros within three and away from the ball. Prairie View A&M has an apparent injury with Kennedy Paul limping off the court. Tiffany Tullis in to replace her. That was a huge three for UTRGV and Amara Graham, who has suddenly found a little bit of heat from long range. She's got a game high 12 points now. Here comes Tullis. Give it off to Dixon. The jumper is good. Prairie View and Emma five. Williams for Graham to Williams. 
McGarity with the scoop, can't get it in. So that one's gonna move it to Dixon, her second. First foul against the Panthers here in the fourth quarter. And McGarity got a chance to make a couple free throws here and cut into this deficit without losing any time off the clock. First shot is good. Makes it a four point game. McGarity now two for three from the line today. She's got three points, eight rebounds, and three assists. Eight rebounds are game high right now. Hits them both. One possession game. Tullis comes out and is replaced by Taylor. Heard for three, off the back iron, rebound Caero. Graham. McGarity. Graham, backing it up with 15 on the shot clock. McGarity, Lewis, five, and she turns it over. Gandy, Rosenthal for Dixon, back to Rosenthal. Four on the shot clock, three. They've got two. Launch a three by Hurd. This is the rim. Shot clock violation. You could also call it out of bounds. You can call it whatever you want. It's ETR to be ball. And Rosenthal comes out. Tell us back in for Prairie View A&M. No, they didn't come away with points. Not the worst possession ever for Prairie View because they did burn all 30 seconds of the shot clock. You know, at this point, anytime you can melt some clock, that's going to be a good thing here. That puts all the pressure back over on UTRGV to try to score and score quickly. Williams makes the jumper fall. It's a one-point game. Eight points for Williams. Dixon, Gandy, puts it up and travels. Wave it off, UTR to be ball with a chance to take the lead with a basket. McGarity for three, can't get it in. Timeout Prairie View A&M. 534 to play in quarter number four. 51-50 Prairie View A&M. It is a 30 second timeout. I'm going to tell you what's coming up for UCHRJ women's basketball. Their next three, following conclusion of action today, well, going to be in the new year, January 8th. They will host Chicago State for two games on the 8th and the 9th. January 8th, that's a 6 p.m. tip. January 9th, a 3 p.m. tip. And then on January the 15th, they'll take the road trip out to Utah and be at Dixie State, 8 p.m. tip in that one. They appear to be have turned this into a media timeout, which they shouldn't have, because that's supposed to be within 30 seconds of the five-minute mark, but we are at 534, so we're a little too far out for that, but they've done it anyway, it would seem. So that should have been a 30. 
Both teams sitting down, and we're definitely past the 30-second mark at this point. And one of the officials just went over to the table. I wonder if that's what they were talking about. Maybe saying, well, what's happened has happened. Can't change it now. I mean, you can. You just pull them back. And, uh, it is what it is. Gives a chance to look at your stats, nonetheless, this yeah. far, with a little more than five minutes left to play here in the fourth quarter. Leading score... Mara Graham, 12 points, five rebounds. I'm sorry, five assists, three rebounds. Jessica Martino having a big night as well. 10 points, two rebounds, two of four from the free throw line. Looking over at the Panthers of Preview A&M, Gandy's got a team high 11. Six rebounds, six assists from the point guard. 10 points for Paul on five of eight shooting. She's got a rebound, assist, and a block. 15 turnovers for each charge would be just 11 for Preview A&M here. Give you all those stats, what ultimately matters. 5.34 left to play, and there is just the slimmest of margins here between you charge and Preview A&M with the Panthers up 51 to 50. Back to action we go. Here's John Goldberg. Thank you, Brian. Gandy, hand off for Taylor. Dixon comes to Hurd. Gandy, it's a Paul, it's the jumper, it's a three, 54-50. Paul had exited the game not that long ago with an apparent injury, she had limped off, but apparently good enough. She's back in there with five minutes to play. And that three-pointer was just the third three-pointer made by the Panthers in this play. They've only taken 14 by way of comparison, UTRGV Taken 24, made five. Martino falls, McGarity. Now Martino Lewis falls, McGarity at it, and then it's blocked by Dixon, who gets it back. Taylor. From the wing, it's Hurd misfiring. Lewis the rebound, head for Graham. Lewis for Graham. Graham a deep three. Swish! Amara Graham eating up from downtown. That's her third three of the day, and the Vaqueros are within a point. Amara Graham's range is basically somewhere where there's wood. You saw that right there way outside and able to bury that one. Paul can't answer. Out of bounds, Vaqueros ball. So I disagree with your analysis slightly because I'm relatively certain that if Amara Graham was in the upper part of the bleachers, which are made of plastic, and I think the floor part is metal, she could still hit a three. <laughs> a fair point, especially when she's heating up like she is right now. 15 points, that's a game high 15 points. Graham. Comes out to McGarity. There's Lewis. Can't get it in. Gandy. Stops the foul line. Pass for Rosenthal. Down low for Paul with the right hand. No good. Out of bounds. Stays with the Panthers. Turnover, Williams with the steal. Williams stops, turns, feeds McGarity with a soft touch, it goes in. UTRGV on top, 55-54, three minutes to go. Rosenthal with the answer. 
This game's had more back and forth than a grandfather clock. And now you charge to be again trying to make another answer. Come for the basketball action, stay for the drama. Graham gets fouled. That's going to go against Gandy. Somehow that's just her first foul. Garrity. With the left hand, it's good. Kevin in McGarity gives the Vaqueros the lead once again. Minute 56 left. 12 on the shot clock. Taylor. Rosenthal, seven, six. Rosenthal lets it fly, and it's good. She can't miss. The Panthers lead 58-57. Timeout, Vaqueros. So that timeout gives us a chance to tell you what's coming up for UCHRGV men's basketball. We've got one more game left from 2020, December 21st. That's Monday. They'll host San Houston State, 6 p.m. tip, right here at the Field Fieldhouse. Then in 2021, January 5th, they'll host Dallas Christian. That's a 6 p.m. tip off. And then here comes WAC play. January 8th and 9th, they'll be out in Chicago. Face Chicago State, 4 p.m. tips, both on the 8th and the 9th. Catch all that action right here on the WAC Digital Network. So check your devices, check your television, make sure you got plenty of power left. 142 left to play. UTRGV trails Prairie View A&M 58-57. They will have the ball anybody's game left in this one. Shots galore as these two teams have combined to shoot more than 110 shots thus far. Seems like a lot. It's a couple. Williams for Graham. Back to Williams. 90 seconds left. Graham. For a three. Swish! Amara Graham with ice water flowing through her veins. It's her fourth three of the game. Thought I saw a little bit of a flame coming off that hand. She is feeling it. She is fire. She is ice. UTRGV leads by two. 18 points for Graham and a minute to go. Dixon's alone and she ties the game at 60. Forty-five seconds left. Williams has the ball knocked away. And UTRGV manages to save possession by calling timeout with 40.2 ticks of the clock remaining and the game tied at 60. Wow. 16 on the shot clock. I guess they're using their full timeout because both teams are sitting down. I don't know about you, Jonah. I may need that full timeout. Let my <laughs> heart rate get down. This has been a thrilling last couple of minutes. Neither team has been able to pull away at any point in this game. Although there have been runs. At one point in the first half, Prairie View A&M went on a 15-4 run. They still never got up by more than six. 
UTRG led by as much as five. And that's it. It has generally been a one possession game, sometimes a two possession game, but it's always right there. There is anybody's game to have 40 seconds left in this one. As you mentioned, 16 seconds on the shot clock. Think of your coach, Lord, and UTRGV. You're looking for Amara Graham. Game high, 18 points thus far, five assists, three rebounds, and she has been feeling it from long range. Gaetto gets the inbound. Williams. Graham. For a deep three, and this time she gets fouled. Free throws coming. And to say that Rosenthal is upset, to put it very kindly, she cannot believe she was called for a foul. Coach Pugh not arguing that point too hard. Couple quick words for the referee. Mara Graham, how's this for a chance to test the ice in your veins? It's the first. And the second. And the third. Timeout Prairie View a and m They'll use the opportunity to advance the ball and draw up a player two with 26 flat remaining. The Vaqueros up 63 to 60. And you gotta wonder what Coach Pugh is gonna draw up here. Her team not been shooting the three point exceptionally well or shooting it well at all in this game. They are three for 16, that's 18% from three point range. They've had some real success getting the ball into the paint and getting good looks at jumpers, and they do so. Paul specifically has done a spectacular job in the low post of getting good looks, but to settle for a two, you're hoping you charge me, then also fouls you to give you a chance at a three-point play. So I think if you're Coach P, you're looking for a three. You've got three players who have hit a three in this win. Dandy's got one, Paul has one, Thompson has one. So that being said, this may be the Kennedy-Paul 22nd, 26 second shot clock. Looks for something inside. If you can't get a step outside, she's probably your most consistent option. And oddly enough, Paul is the one who will inbound it for Preview AM. Yeah. Twenty-six seconds to decide this one. And a quick foul. On Williams. That's her first, and that's just the second on UTRGV in this quarter. And they were they put a twenty second shot clock up for a second and then took it away because yeah, no shot clock necessary. 18, 17, 16. There's a three ball and it's off the mark and misses the rim from Hurd. And Lewis gets fouled. So the Panthers took 16 seconds off the clock and that one came away with nothing. Half to foul now. And Lewis will have a chance to push this one in to multiple possessions. And there might be enough to push this one out of reach. 10.6 ticks of the clock remaining. Off the back iron. Lewis now 0 for 2 from the line today. Second shot is good. 
Timeout for Prairie View A&M. They'll advance the ball. They have, they still have enough time to go for two. You get a quick two and then a quick steal or turnover. And then you hope UTRG misses a free throw. And worth noting, Prairie View A&M is out of timeouts now. UTRG does have one left. So you have to assume whatever Sandy Pugh is drawing up over there, she's probably drawing up a couple different scenarios. Because this will likely be the last time she gets a chance to call her team over and talk it out. Whoever comes away with a victory in this one, they've earned it. Yeah. This has been a back and forth seesaw affair. I mean, should it be UTRGV, of course, the team up by four right now? Can we say anything more about this team's grit and ability to come back in the second half of games? They are developing a specialty at second half performances. Well, Coach Lord talked about it on the podcast this week, the Rally the Valley podcast presented by Town Play Suites by Marriott, that his team always plays well in the fourth quarter. Tonight, no exception. Nine seconds, eight, and a foul. That's just number three on UTRGV, and they can they can use another one. Force Prairie View and M to keep inbounding. And then you can rent them from shooting a three if you want. Rosenthal gets a quick three, and she hits it. One point game, five flat remaining. Timeout, Vaqueros. Here before, certainly, it seemed like every time. You get Goldberg and Smith on a broadcast. So confirmed by the officials, they were just checking the clock. They've added four tenths of a second, so it's 5.4. They get it in, and Cajero gets rebounded, and a lot of time came off that clock. And the reason a lot of time came off, interestingly enough, is because UTRG actually had trouble inbounding. And Prairie View was playing really good defense, but they weren't able to recover the ball. And that extra time it took before ball recovery allowed the clock to tick down to 2.6. Coach Pugh doing a really nice job here. First thing she does, she asks one of the officials, did it touch someone's hand? Because the clock started the moment it touched someone's hand. First one goes in. And that is a great question to ask in this situation because you want to make sure that if time came off the clock, that it came off appropriately. And you see there it did. Second shot is good. Prairie and Emma have a chance to tie it. 2.6 left. 
Get it in for Gandy. Half course. He's got, she doesn't get a shot off. And Coach Pugh stamps her feet and throws her arms in the air. She can't believe it. UTRGV escapes with a 66 to 63 victory over Prairie View A and M. Wow. Brian, <laughs> what do you say about that? Let me catch my breath for a second. Well, we were in, we knew we were going to be in for a high octane kind of performance. And boy, is that what we saw here today. You charge me and preview AM gave you everything you could have hoped for in a Saturday matinee game. And you charge you just a spectacular performance, showing some grit, getting down deep, and pulling out a victory despite trailing at halftime. What do the final numbers look like? So taking a look at host UTR via Mara Graham. Well, she went off 21 points on 7-11 shooting, four for seven from three point range, perfect from the free throw line. Three rebounds, five assists. Another big performance from Jessica Martino as well. 10 points, two rebounds. Tiffany McGarity narrowly misses a double-double. Nine points, eight rebounds, three assists. On the flip side, looking at Prairie View A&M, 13 points for Paul. Near double-double for Gandy, 11 points, seven rebounds, seven assists, almost a triple-double. Hurd picked up six points, seven rebounds, three assists. Overall, Prairie View A&M shot 44% from the floor. That's respectable. 12 turnovers, 35 total rebounds. UTRGV picks up the victory but does so shooting 42% from the floor, 37 rebounds. That turnover differential really leveled off, only 15 for UTRGV. Give you all those stats that ultimately matters. UTRGV escapes 66-63. Well, UTRGV is now four and two. And won two in a row. Prairie View A&M falls to one and one. UTRGV's next scheduled game Always an important caveat this year is actually January 8th, WAC play. WAC opener, home against Chicago State, 6 p.m. All WAC games here on the WAC Digital Network. I'm going to throw out a caveat, though. Remember, that canceled Incarnate Word game that was scheduled for this coming Monday, canceled because Incarnate Word has COVID issues. UTR3 Women's Basketball is still working on either rescheduling that game or replacing it. So stay tuned. Go UTR3.com. In case another game does get added to the schedule sometime between now and the start of WAC play. That'll do it for us from the UTRGV Field House. I'd like to thank everybody out there for tuning in. This has been a presentation of UTRGV Women's Basketball. For more information, log on to GoUTRGV.com. If you want to reach us, you can add us. He's at the Vested One. I'm at Jonah UTRGV. But for now, for my partner in crime, the one, the only, Brian Smith, our entire production crew, who deserve major thanks as... They, after yesterday's games, uh, the island got canceled. They actually came back with myself and our producer engineer, Davis Van Egdom, to help set up in the field house. And I really appreciate that so much. So uh, shout out to Cougar, Carlos, Daniela, uh, Alex, and uh, Luis also working today. Luis on his debut on graphics. I'm going to assume they went well. But this is Jonah Goldberg saying good night, good day. From the UTRGV Fieldhouse, UTRGV wins 66-63.